we have learnt in previous class that a house protects us from heat, cold, rain and wild animals. It is a place where we keep ourselves safe and comfortable. Do you know what kind of houses your grandparents lived in when they were young? Ma'am, once my grandmother told me that when she was young, the houses were quite different. Most people at that time lived in villages and built kacha houses. Houses used to be built using simple materials like mud, stone, bamboo, straw and leaves. The floors were usually made of clay and coated with cow dung. Village people could get materials like mud, straw and leaves from their surroundings without paying much. Forest products like bamboo and wood were also easily available there. Today many people still live in houses made of mud, clay and wood. Ma'am, what are havelis? Haveli is a very big single story house. These houses are made of stone, wood and mud bricks. Most of them have rooms built around the central courtyard called the Angan, place for children to play and for elders to sit and chat. They have high ceilings and thick walls to keep the house cool even in summer. People living in Havelis do not need air conditioners in summer. Now the times have changed. People in villages have also started making pakka houses just as in cities. Ma'am, pakka houses mean permanent houses. These are made of bricks, cement, tiles, marble, iron and glass. Yes, you are right, Ruchika. But pakka houses are not easy to build because raw material is not easily available. It is costlier also. Ma'am, one day my father took me to a construction site. There he showed and explained me how a pakka house is constructed. The walls of a pakka house are made of bricks and then plastered with a mixture of cement and sand. The roofs are made of concrete, asbestos or corrugated iron sheets. The flooring is made of marble or stones. Pakka houses are more durable and stronger than kacha houses. They do not need repair frequently. They are built with the all modern facilities and proper drainage system. These houses are more expensive. Find out How many people are involved during the construction of a house? What kind of work does each one do? Nowadays, you must have noticed that there is a shortage of land in the cities. This has resulted in the construction of very tall buildings. These are called multi-storied buildings or skyscrapers. My friend lives in a multi-storied building. It has many floors and each floor has a number of houses. She lives on the 18th floor. Yes, in a multi-storied building, each house is called a flat or an apartment. Ma'am, my cousin has a big house that has many rooms, a lawn and a garage in it. Very big and spacious houses are called bungalows. Near your colonies, you might have seen people living in small houses made of bamboo, stones and mud. Some people live in makeshift houses made of iron or tin sheets. These are called slums. People use cheap material like plastic, plywood and cardboard to make their houses. There are no proper facilities of drinking water, sanitation, etc. in slums. Why do people live in slums? Everybody in cities is not rich. Many poor people are there. It is a very sad situation that people are forced to live in such bad conditions. What is our government doing for them? Slums are growing day by day, but our government is trying its best to improve the condition of the slum dwellers. It is providing low-cost houses to them as every person has a right to a decent living.